Hey guys, in this video I will show you the Excel tool I have created to easily generate bullet and gauge charts. I will show you all the customizations you can do in just a second. But first, let me show you how easy it is. After clicking this button, the desired chart will be generated by using Python. The chart can be saved as an HTML file, image or even PDF. Changing the chart type from gauge to bullet is as easy as setting the shape type over here and I will also adjust the title and height for the chart. After clicking the button, the script has now generated a bullet chart. Let us have a look on the customization options. For the demonstration of the chart settings, I will use the gauge chart, but all those settings are of course also working with the bullet chart. In the first section, you can set the title as well as the title alignment, size and font family. The value section might be the most important one, where you can define different value ranges such as the value for the inner bar, the threshold, the max value, as well as the reference. The reference is used to calculate and display the delta. If you do not want to show the delta, you could also change the mode up here. And if you want to display the delta in an absolute number instead of percent, you could change this in the additional settings area. The different ranges can be also set to your needs and liking. For instance, you could hide the second range. And if you do not want to display any ranges, you could also set the visibility for the first range to false. All colors in the chart can be adjusted. You can either use an RGB code, the hexadecimal value, or provide the color names such as red, green, blue, yellow, and so on and so forth. Moving on to the axis setting, where you can customize the ticks. You could also hide the axis by setting the visibility to false. Last but not least, you also have some more additional settings such as the font size, the height of the figure in pixels, the threshold width, and many more. In the output area, you could set the file name as well as selecting the desired output type by using the drop down menu. I did not cover all the settings here in great detail, instead I encourage you to play around with the settings. If you input any unexpected values such as an incorrect hexadecimal code, the tool will show you an error in a message box. Additionally, an error log file will be created for you. Please feel free to also post the error message in the comment sections below and I will be happy to help you out. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the charts are generated with the help of Python and in particular with the Plotly library. Therefore, to use the tool, you need to have Python installed on your machine. As you might be working with different Python environments, you need to input the Python path you would like to use in the cell here. And if you are not sure how to find out the path, you could also type where Python in your command prompt. Additionally, you want to make sure that you have installed the required libraries, which I have listed down in the requirements.txt file. To install the libraries, you can type pip and then the name of the library in your command prompt. For instance, to install Plotly, you can type pip install Plotly. Alternatively, you could also install the entire requirements by typing pip install dash r requirements.txt. If you leave the corresponding Python file, which is generating the chart, in the same directory as the Excel file, you do not need to change the cell here. Speaking of the Python file, let us shortly have a look behind the scenes. The Python file will be executed via VBA. The values of the settings are stored in separate variables by using the pandas library. Those variables will be then passed over to the Plotly chart as arguments. At the bottom of the script is the exception handler to create the error log file and the message box in case of any errors. Ok guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found this tool useful or got some inspiration for your project. As always, if you have any questions or need further support, just let me know in the comment sections down below. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.